in my request. Linda Burney is the Shadow Minister for Social Services and I spoke to her a short while ago and started by saying that according to this weekend's press, Treasurer Josh Frydenberg confirmed that Cabinet's Expenditure Review Committee would meet shortly to consider changes to the deeming rate and the Australian Financial Review seems to think this will happen by Christmas. I asked her if she considers that that's a reasonable time frame. Well, I don't think it's a reasonable, reasonable time frame. And you said yourself you've spoken to many uh, pensioners who are clearly, very clearly understanding this unfair deeming rate. Um, as you've pointed out, there are no term deposits or uh, investments that provide a 3.25% um, uh, dividend for pensioners, and yet that, this is what most pensioners, over 600,000, are being deemed to uh, be earning on their savings. And uh, I think we've spoken before, I mean, pensioners are very conservative, very careful people, um, and it is patently unfair, the current deeming rate, and I don't think people should have to wait till Christmas. The spread between the Reserve Bank's official cash rate and the deeming rate is now the largest since the Keating Labor government, according to the Australian Financial Weekend, Financial Review Weekend. What do you think is a reasonable rate? I have not got in my mind an exact figure, um, but I've heard, you know, if the government's going to only bring it back by 0.5 per cent, uh, I don't think that's acceptable. Uh, the government needs to look at uh, where, the best, uh, where the best income is from the various term deposits that are around, and something like 2%. So deeming rates need to at least come back to what the best uh, dividend is for pensioners that they can achieve through other, through other means. I mean, at the end of the day, pensioners and, uh, well, part pensioners in particular, are being deemed to be earning more than what they're actually earning. And that is a very unfair situation. The government recognises that. Um, and it, it is within the government's powers to, exert, to work out exactly um, how much this would cost the budget, to work out exactly who's being affected, and to also make the changes with really the stroke of a pen. We understand the government wants to get that budget, wants to hit that budget surplus. That's one of the things that they campaigned so strongly on in the election. If it yes. damages that in any way, is that a good enough reason to only lower that deeming rate by a short amount, a small amount? Mm. Look, that's a matter for the government. Uh, the point that I'm making as the shadow minister is that the deeming rate needs to be fair. Um, and it needs to be uh, something aligned with what the best dividend is that people um, can find there, out there in the market. Um, I understand uh, the government's desire to have a surplus, and of course that's important. I'm not, I'm not saying it isn't, isn't important, but the government is responsible for the deeming rate, and the government's responsible for the um, unfairness of it uh, that exists now. We all know that there has been no change to the deeming rate, no proper review since 2015. And frankly, um, and I met with pensioner groups uh, just, just last week, and they are all acutely aware that there needs to be a change in the deeming rate. Um, and I hope the government recognises that. In the weekend financial review, Linda Burney, uh, they write that under the coalition government, the gap has now blown out from 1% in 2013 to more than 2.25%, despite five separate interest rate cuts yes. since the last deeming change in 2015. And national seniors are really angry about it. Ian Henschke's come out and said pensioners will be gobsmacked and then angry when they see this data that's been uncovered this weekend. What have they told you? Well, what you've described is exactly exactly the situation. 
uh, most pensioners or part pensioners are paying the up, uh, are experiencing the upper end of the deeming rate. That's the 3.25, and yet, as you say, Jane, the cash rate has now been reduced to a record low of one percent. Um, and anyone can see that those sums are not uh, fair. Uh, the pensioner groups, or the pensioner group that I, the, the, the seniors group that I've met with during the week, and the many calls and contacts we've had into my office are saying that people are doing it tough. Um, the deeming rate is what the part pension is worked out at. And therefore, people feel very aggrieved that they are that their pensions in many cases have been reduced because of a deeming rate that's unrealistic. Linda Burney, thanks for joining us tonight on Kenny on Sunday. Thank you.